prayed Sunday morning, the first one of this month, September, to God be the glory for his faithfulness, his direction, his goodness. Absolutely every morning, new mercies we see. Hey, we are in the second chapter of John, and it starts out with this verse, the first one, and in the third day. Like I said all weekend, there's something about threes. Jesus raising up from the dead and triumph was manifested across and people witnessed men and women when he was walking alongside of them. But then finally their understanding was woke and their eyes were opened and they were like, oh my goodness, the Christ is right next to us. Listen, Lord wants to do miracles in our life if we are available and open to the Father's influence. Now I have a testimony. The Lord led me on a three and a half day fast. And I wouldn't say anything about it while I was on it as far as what I was doing. But I know that there have been miracles and illumination even during the fast when I was holding on to the wall because because at times I got kind of weak but the Lord sustained me with his strength it's something that he wants to do in all of us it might be like I said skipping a meal a day maybe skipping uh, a day I don't know but pray because the Lord wants to do fascinating things for his people and he wants to show us so much and in the scriptures, we already read that this kind, these type of challenges, these type of issues are not removed or not alleviated unless only by prayer and fasting. Sometimes we got to turn up the notch. I believe with what's going on in the land, there should be a lot of times where we're turning over our plates, okay, turning over our plates and feasting on the word of God and hearing from heaven. He wants to reveal things. And we know that this chapter opens up with uh, the Lord's first miracle. But listen, that might have been the first, but there's no such thing as the last miracle of the Lord because he is still doing it in 2020. So with that being said, because today is September 6th, we would have gone to Psalm 6 and 36 and 66 and 96 and 126. And so much has spoken to me this morning. Uh, Psalms 36. Ah, even during a fast, the Lord can abundantly satisfy. This is verse 8 of Psalms 36. They shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness or the health of thy house and thou shalt make them drink yeah you might not be able to drink your juice or whatever but you will drink of the rivers of his pleasure for with thee is the fountain of life in thy light shall we see light oh continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee that's our prayer today and i know psalm 66 spoke to me also i believe that is verse 12, yeah, even though we have gone through a lot, the Lord has brought us to a wealthy place. And that's where God wants us to be, in a position where he can be glorified and we be used and we are an open vessel. Come and hear all ye that fear God and I will declare what he has done for my soul. He has done so much for my soul. I know he has done a lot for you. Hey, turn it up because the Lord wants to show his miracles in our life today in 2020. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful uh, leading into Labor Day and know that God is real and there's no last. There's no final miracle. Have a good one.